Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And, uh, as you can see, we've got some things in here. I actually made these. They're made with a weak blood shard, as we figured out how to get last time. And it takes 40,000 LP and a tier 4 altar. I made four of them, and I have one in the altar. So, as you can see, we have one million LP. Uh, I made the blood lamp, but I forgot to show you how it works. So, we'll just break this torch... And that, that's it. Once you place it, it doesn't consume any life points. And it has a hitbox somewhere that you can break. There. So it's in about the middle of the block. So, oh, a little bit of lag there. When you have as many mods as Resident Rise, that kind of happens a bit. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. What's going on there? Weird. Okay. So, then you've got some practically invisible lights, you know, you get a little bit of particles, but it gets rid of the stupid torches, which I am all for, especially in a situation like this. A little bit of blood sitting in the center, splashing up like that, is better than the torches, in my opinion. I have it in the torch slot, because I have no reason not to use it instead of a torch. But uh, we have some things here. This is the Soul Armor Forge. It's made with filled sockets, some stone, and a magician's blood orb. And then the filled sockets are made from an empty socket and 30,000 LP in a tier 3 altar. Or it works, you know, forwardly. You can obviously make things requiring lower tier altars and higher ones. That's made from weak blood shards and diamonds, which I made my weak blood shards off of one of the two that I had. And I did a whole bunch of imbued slates and just made them like that. So, the reason why I made these Master Blood Orbs is, for one, you craft the armors in the world. And what I mean by that is you place down your Soul Armor Forge, which I uh, suppose we'll do the feet first. It'll be in the uppermost empty space of your crafting grid. Now... If you apply a weak shard, that allows you to add an upgrade. And these are the shoes, so I'm going to take this Sigil of Haste, and I'm going to place it in one of the other ones. Okay? So then what you do is... I completely forgot. Oops. Oh, there's another reason why I made the quartz glass, because you could break it. Maybe I'm an idiot, and he's being the bottom. Ah! There we go. So, we have these. Now, it has an item in slot zero, which is a weak blood shard, and a sigil of haste. And I just realized I made a mistake, because I was supposed to put a master blood orb in. We will resolve that in just a minute. I'm not going to put those on, because they'll constantly drain from my blood network. I'll show you what I was supposed to do here. So, I'm going to put in the elemental affinity. Oh, I can't put it in, because I haven't put in a shard yet. Elemental affinity. So I'll put that there. Oh, I can't put Elemental Affinity in? That's disappointing. You disappoint me, game. No. See, I want to save... It still disappoints me that I can't put that in there. Oh, well. I'll put in a Green Grove and a Master Blood Orb. Now, what this does is, as you can see, it has those listed. The Master Blood Orb makes these cost nothing, like the effect of the Green Grove. And what the Green Grove does is if I stand near plants... I don't really have anything I could show offhand. Uh, you know what? This tree got kind of screwed because of how random things works. So as you can see, it grew pretty much instantly. Just by me wearing these. And when I take damage, the damage will come from my blood network. So... That's good. Now, I obviously am going to want to make the chest piece. You do not need to be on high, or fast. Now, there we go. I'm going to put in a weak blood shard, a master blood orb, and I feel like I'm missing something. 
Oh, no, no, it's because I was going to put in Elemental Affinity and it wouldn't let me. Which is disappointing. Why you do this? Oh, well, I guess I have an extra Elemental Affinity. And I guess I just put a Blood Shard in that for nothing. Don't mind me, I was looking at Engineer's Toolbox. Is there any sigils that I potentially want in here that I can make offhand? I don't really think there is. I mean, I can make this. You know what? Heck with it. Might as well make it. No reason not to. So. I will request sticks. I'll grab... Whoa. Six sticks. Seven iron. Four stone and one reinforced slate. So I'll grab the iron and the sticks. Make them here in my little pocket crafting grid. Pick, shovel, axe. Throw these in the table. I don't have any plans to put anything in the helmet yet, because uh, with the helmet I'm going to put, uh, I? I must have put that in there, okay. So with the helmet, I'm going to place the Farmcraft goggles eventually, although I haven't done that yet. And you may have noticed something else in my inventory, the Energy Blaster. That's made from the Ritual of Binding, which is how we made the sword, which I don't have on me at the moment. And the Apprentice Blood Orb. This one. Which is the Tier 2 one. So it's pretty simple. Uh, just for easy storage in this case... Oh, don't do that. Just for easy storage in this case, so that we don't have to worry about them later, I'm going to place these in here. And pop. Uh, you know what? I've got a million blood. I can afford these at the moment. So I've got boost two, haste two, and yeah, I'll tear you down. I'll see you right there for the moment. Oh, and I figured out how the phantom bridge works. If you press shift, you can do that. It'll place it under you immediately. And why was I losing blood? I lost a point of health there. Yeah. Why is it doing this? Is it because the armor is drawing directly from me? Because I screwed it up? Ow. So we're going to tear down this entire sigil. Or rune. The, the ritual, that's the word. And I forgot my extra ritual shards. Please tell me I put those in my network. Rit chu no. I left them on the table. Of course I did. Turn on my sigil of magnetism. Make sure I don't lose any of these blocks. You're not necessary to me. Turn on my elemental affinity. And twenty-four, okay. So I'll go back over here. I think haste actually affects the uh, speed at which I fly, which is really nifty. Uh, oh, right, they should be in here. There we go. I've actually done this before because I made a mistake with... Uh, I actually put something in a sigil of holding that I didn't mean to, which was the haste that I put in my boots. And so I've done this before. Now, if you see, this says can place Dusk Runes, because it's this one. Because if you look at this one, it says cannot, and then this one says can. So, what we're going to do... Go away. What we're going to do, it is set to the Ritual of Binding, because I'd actually... That's not what I meant to do. Because I'd actually set it to Unbinding before, and then replaced my Binding. So, if we look at my Ritual Stones, I'm now out... And what I'll do is I take off these boots, and I'm going to put these back on for the second. 
you take your boots. Oh, I forgot my stone. Of course. I'm good at this game. Kind of irritates me how the Tinker's Construct hearts sometimes disappear. But, what are you going to do? Okay, so, give me back my ritual stone, please. Hey. There. I'm not really worried about running out of blood in my network. I created another ritual over underneath the altar that I have yet to show you. It, it was for the simplicity of making everything. If I didn't, it was going to be painful. All oh, right, my magnetism is still on. And off. Go. As you can see, it instantly separates it. So I'm going to leave that like that. If I ever need binding, I'll tear it back down and rebuild it using the diviner again. Now, once I get over here, let's check my... I've actually burnt through quite a bit already, but uh, that's fine. So, one, two, three, four, four. Master Ritual Stone, Weak Blood Orb, Sigil of Haste, and bam, boots. So now any damage I take while wearing this will be pulled straight from my blood network, and I have a insanely fast movement speed right now. Like, we're talking unnecessarily fast. Now, it doesn't, as you can see, draw from my blood network to make the armor. Do I have an armor stand? No. And when I destroyed the statue before, I unfortunately lost my, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I unfortunately lost the osmium armor that was on it, because, uh, apparently, life story, don't break a statue that has stuff on it. Ever. Ever. But, I suppose I'll set this up eh, as good a place as any. Twang. Twang. You facing awkwardly? Please tell me you're facing straight ahead. I think it's facing straight ahead. Put the armor on it. And there's my obsidian armor. Oh god, this move speed is insane. Now at some point, I'm going to rip the head apart, and I'm going to make the Thumbcraft goggles. Which, I won't be able to see a recipe for, I'm pretty sure, because I think you have to research them. Yeah. And Thumbcraft is going to be something I get into a little bit later. It's time to get back to the technical mods. I've done a lot of blood magic. Not everything in it, of course, but quite a bit of it. And I'm not sure if this armor is enchantable, but... You know, I wonder if the air sigil actually makes it so you don't take fall damage. Unfortunately, I can't uncraft that to see that. Oh well. That'll probably be something I try eventually. In the meantime, I'm going to call this sufficient. For magic. Uh, oh right. Oh, go down there where you're supposed to be. Do you work now? Huh. Weird. How much does this actually cost? Really? Ten. Okay. Oh. Let's uh, go check out what I did over here then. You know what? Let's do it with our newfound speed. Oh. Well, let's grow our newfound speed then. As you can see, I took the top off. And. Oh. Oh, the move speed. Please stop. Got the Master Blood Orb in here. It's filling up quite nicely. Oh, past it. As you can see, gaining at a pretty quick rate. Haste also gives you a higher jump height, so that's going to be ridiculous. So, if you come down here and have a look-see at what's going on, 
This lever will actually turn off the ritual. This is the Well of Suffering. So if I click through to it, you can see the Well of Suffering. It takes zero blank stones, four air, 16 water, eight fire, four earth, and four dusk. All in all, that totals up to 36. It will slowly damage entities, uh, like monsters, both neutral monsters and hostile monsters, within its area of effect and it will add it to the n nearest blood altar within, I think, like, ten blocks or so. So, and it respects the sacrifice ring, so that is an important thing to remember. Let's just do this. Uh, actually, first, down here, I made this block. Unfortunately, any blocks I break are going to get eaten by it. But what it is, is it's configurable. It is the Advanced Item Collector from Random Things, wherever it is. This is actually the third one I've had to make because it has this bad habit of eating itself or something. So the, the normal item collector is made like this. The advanced one is then made off the normal one like that. And this is extremely noisy. Holy crap. Now, I'm going to just bust a hole into the floor real quick. As you can see what's going on down here. We've got eight of my spawners down here. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't recommend ever going down there. The eight spawners are down there, and I use those with the Well of Suffering to craft everything I needed and fill my blood network. And then this is just a carpenter's door, set up to look perfectly flat. And that's pretty much the extent of that. And I just have the orb in there, and as you can see our blood network is full now. There is a tier 5, and there is a higher tier blood orb, which holds 10 million. But probably not going to get there anytime soon. This is probably going to be all I'm going to have for a long time. So... I did start something last episode. While I was making all that stuff, I completely wasn't even watching it. I got some stuff set up. This is the Mariculture Incubator, which I have my transceiver down here at the moment. And these are some fish. Those are the only ones I have at the moment. And the cool thing about the uh, modular force field controller, you can link them to pretty much anything. Now, it won't work out here, but if I come in close enough... It'll open this up. As you can see, they have no fish food. So I got some fish meal. And I'm going to try and breed this with this other fish. So, as you can see, they currently have 586 health left. And the impurity upgrades reduce their health by an extra one per tick. Although, for some reason, when I have three of them, it only does an extra two. Because it does 12 instead of 10. Which is weird. But what I want this to do is... It should be low enough. This guy only has 180 health. And I want to... I want him to be in there for whenever the female fish dies. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. But I'm desperately trying to get koi. So that's pretty much the extent of that. This is going to have fish processing. Uh, I haven't really done much over here. But I'm probably going to have regular processing over here. The next floor down is going to maintain things like storage and whatnot. And then I'm eventually going to make an atomic science reactor. And that's going to end up powering everything in the end. Although currently I just keep on throwing redstone into that. Not exactly the most efficient way. I really didn't need two stacks of that. So I pretty much burnt through every single one of my spawners. So that's fun. However... We've got, uh, I've got this set up, and I was using this to make my ingots and stuff, because I can get extra outputs like these. So then I can put these in, and then it'll melt down. And I can get extra output, which is where I got the silicon, the sulfur, the leather, bones, clay. And then there's just ingot casting. This is... I could actually probably use a Tinker's Construct uh, casting table here. But I'm not always processing in multiples of 9, so that's not my wisest decision. Although I end up with weird issues if I use more than one. 
and it, it can cause some pretty nasty frame rate drops for some reason. But and then here's all my orberry bushes that I found. I actually died in the Nether trying to get uh, gas tier because I didn't enable my sigil of elemental affinity and fell to my death. So that was cool. About as cool as falling to your death can be. Why do you not update? However, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to check the time to make sure I don't go over, and I'll be right back with you. Yeah, okay, it's at about 20 minutes, so I don't think I'm going to get started on my other plants. I'll get start, part of it started. The parts that I know I can easily crank out, which is I'm going to go, what is the actual physical size that I left down here for this? Uh, well, what's one away from each side? Five, six, five. Okay, so I'm going to need 25. This is why I had Engineer's Toolbox up. I'm going to start by making some of its frames, and I'm going to make them out of aluminum. That is not the right kind of aluminum, my friend. This is part of the reason why whenever it comes to crafting table-wise, I prefer... Uh, Let's just make 10. I prefer AE, although the super condensed storage of AE, it's nice, but it's a bit eh, cheaty. My frame rate drop should stop once that thing stops. But what I want to do here is I actually want to... I'm just going to use this because I have them. I want to start this one out as to not interfere with my ladder, for one. And these won't really affect much on their own. Uh, it's a bit uneven. I wonder if I can fix that. Uh, do I want to fix that? Yes. I think I do. I'll just cut this wall out later. So, oh, come on now. There we go. Sigil of Magnetism, you are helpful. So... These work kind of like the frames from Red Power 2, although different. They will not naturally attach things. Oh, and this is a Yetta wrench from uh, Ender I.O. I prefer this, and as you can see, it's got that thing down there, because it interacts better with its cables. So, for example, I'm on power right now. All non-power cables have gone clear. Now I'm on redstone. I don't have any redstone cables, so they're all clear. Now I'm on item. Fluid. And then ME, which I don't have any ME ones either. Uh, the icons down there, they're normally different, but they're one of the things I've changed within my texture pack. So, this is cool and all, but if you take the wrench and you right-click, you get that. That turns it to magnet mode. Ooh. You have no idea how many times I've fallen down this. Okay, so, one of the first things I need to do is get some suckets. And then probably not going to go too much further than this here. Oh, why did I do that? I'm on. No, it's already here. I'm just being an idiot. Uh, we'll use aluminum, sure. Actually, you know what? We're not going to use aluminum because I don't feel like fighting with that at the moment. We will use iron and gold nuggets. Missing 37 gold nuggets. Fine. Be that way. I'll use iron and copper. Of course, now I'm going to have to fill in the copper of this situation with the proper copper. I want to craft 20 of them. Cool. This is not really going to be enough, because I'm probably going to use them as part of a workaround to its own system, because there's a bit of an issue with it for me. Actually, you know what? Let's make one more craft of these. Now, a lot of these modules are pretty straightforward. Redstone input is a redstone. Redstone output is a repeater, which is actually going to be a complete pain. But I think... Uh, where is my rubber? You know what? Let's get a stack of rubber cooking. Get it made into plastic, and we'll come back to that at some point. 
I'm gonna use... You know what? I'll stop with the sockets. I'll worry about them next time. For this time, I'm just going to get the stuff from basically the railing. It's the only way I can describe it. Uh, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So, uh, one more, please. bit unprepared for this, but I actually thought the, the blood magic was going to take me just a little bit longer. Eh, 16 should be good for now, at least to represent what I'm doing. I'm going to have two elevators on the bottom of this. One here. Oh. Oh. Why didn't I take any fall damage there? Did I leave? Oh, it is on. Okay. That said, what's my blood network at? Oh, okay. So. Uh, you know what? Okay, so I'm going to have one elevator in the bottom of this and one here. And what I'm going to do is along this wall, I'm going to run these down. And they'll carry redstone signals. One elevator will be up, the other will be down. Now, ideally, at, one, at some point in the future, I'm going to change these out for... Uh, well, not change these out, but uh, I might not have two elevators here, or I might just leave it that way to keep things simple. You are being a complete pain. Please move. There. So, I'm probably only going to have one floor. Why do you do this? You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. The first floor will come down to here, which means that that's going to need to go to there? No, it's actually going to need to go one lower. And there's, of course, stuff there. Oh, of course. I'm on. Fine. So, as you can see, the Phantom Bridge is actually really helpful. Uh, this is actually going to be different blocks down the inside of this. When I'm done, I'm probably going to use Chisel's Concrete. Uh, now, if I look up Concrete... There is the concrete from Railcraft, which I'm probably going to use for the standard flooring. And then for the walls, I'm going to use concrete from Chisel and different versions of it. So by the time I get to the bottom of it, it's going to be this darker color. And then at some point, it's going to phase through like this, using this one. But it's just made out of gravel, which is pretty simple. I mean, I can very easily make a cobble gen. Turn you off. And then I can use the crusher to turn cobble into uh, gravel. And then I can smelt the gravel to get the concrete. The reason why I don't want to use it for flooring is because of the way it works. By the way, this is the largest size fish tank. The koi actually just needs basic. Uh, let's give you a fish food, see where you're at. 145, pull you out, put you in. As you see, he's got 180 HP. This will last for probably about 13 more runs at most. And I gave it 12 fish food. So that should be good to go there. And I'm eventually going to have this hooked up to computers. Uh, the first computer is probably just going to be right here in the center or something. Maybe. Actually, what I'll probably do is if he implements the direction changer, in block direction changer, because I submitted an issue, an issue where I was trying to use a contraption to actively change the direction of an elevator on the thing itself, and what I can do is I can actually use one of these for changing the direction, although I don't really see a point, but anyhow, I'll run the networking cable up the center that will power the computer, and then I'll have it be a touch touchscreen computer where I'll just right click on the floor and it should go down to that floor. Now I'm going to be using open computers because they have persistency like the red power computer from in my 147 series. So I don't have to worry about it if my game crashes or if I exit the game, things won't stop. And I'm storing these for a good reason which I'll get into eventually. Not terribly useful to me at the moment. 
But uh, that's probably the 10 minute mark. I'm going to get some of the things set up for the next thing eventually. And then we'll put together the elevator next time. Uh, the computers are a pain. Like, they're a long process. And I'm just going to do two floors at first, probably. And I need to get more of the redneck cabling. But I'm going to call this good for now. We got the uh, blood armor going, which I'm quite pleased with. This is obviously my edited version. I put the runes on it so you can tell that it's sort of... It's to make up for the fact that there's less visual armor. It's to say that it's basically blood enchanted with runes and shit. And it's actual runes off of the different uh, sigils. So... What? I don't know which one I used on the chest base. Uh, I believe... No. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to call this good for now. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.